Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, it's Little Nubby Cake, and I feel like making a tutorial video for the Sunny Vegas Pro Basics. Um, this is my main uh video editing system that I use. Um, I also have After Effects, Cinema 4D, and a couple other stuff that I have. But this is my favorite because it's it's really easy. I mean, I know you can do a lot of cool things with After Effects, but Sony Vegas Pro is pretty straightforward. It's it's really easy. So let me uh, let me show you guys the basics now. First of all, I'm not like a pro at this. Um, a Vegas Pro, <laughs> but uh, wow, I'm a scrub. But um, yeah, uh, I'm not a I'm not a pro at this, but I definitely know how to make uh, a video. So let me make a tutorial. All right, so. I, I, I'm not like prepared for anything. I'm just gonna wing it. So let me just try to find a random uh, Random footage. Let me go to um, Fraps videos, that's always a good thing Okay um, What you do is you open it up and it will place it right here and you can hit play. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lil Nubby Cake, and I'm so here. So yeah, that's my video for the uh, how to um, do the uh, slash AFK on Comet Arms. But um, all right. So you see that these black bars on the side? You want to get rid of that. So what you want to do is you want to right click the video itself. Well, first you want to click it. That's always good. Click the video. Right click it, go down to properties, and you see this little maintain aspect ratio? Nah, bruh. See, if you keep the aspect ratio, it's gonna stay in that ratio, but nah, you want it to, you want it to fit the size so you can get that nice, nice, full picture. Alright, so you're gonna do uncheck that, and then you hit OK, and it's magic. Now, some of you are all probably like, bruh, why is it like all fuzzy? It's not even in HD. That's because up here I have it in draft. And if you're adding a lot of effects to your video, um, it's good to have it in draft so it doesn't lag. But if you want to see it in good quality, you might want to go to best and go to full, and it will make it uh, it will make it perfect quality. And yeah, so on you got your video. What it is is you got your video track right here that's blue, and then you got your audio that's red. Now, if you scroll up and down on your mouse. Or you can just pinch the sides of these. You can make the video either shorter or longer. So, like, say you're trying to like cut out one word, like "sup." It's little the word "sup." It's right here. So if I click on the audio, I hit the letter S, and I go to after that word, and I hit S again. S is for split. If you want to split it or whatever, you can you know mute it. So if I play hey it, guys, what it's a little nubby cake. So you know you you can play with that. So Remember the letter S. It's it's a good key to split things. If you want to undo it, you do Control Z, which will undo it. Or if you want to redo it, Control Shift Z, and that will redo it. All right, so let's undo that. Okay, so now that you've pretty much learned the basics, um, let me show you on adding different stuff. So if you want to add like another video, like if you want to put a video on top of, video, of, of a video, or a picture, it could be anything. You can right click right next to it or when, wherever, it doesn't matter. Go to insert video track and look at that. It's a video track. So Sony Vegas and any other editing program is pretty much the same. If it's on top of a video, then that will be on top of the video in the display. So if I was to insert a picture, let me go to... A, f a folder um how to be fast we just made a video and how to be fast you want to click that and look it's over the video now if I was to put it underneath the video you're not gonna see it because this video is on top of it you get it all right you see on top under now it's over now it's over. all right it it's a happy day so you see it doesn't fit the screen you know if I wanted to uh, you know make it fit screen I could maintain aspect ratio okay so say I wanted to make this a small picture in the video. What you want to do is you can scroll up to make it, you know, easier to see. And you see this little magical square. It looks like a event pan crop. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to click that. And then a magical, a lot of magic with this. This pops up. What you want to do is you want to scroll out with your mouse. 
and if you actually go like this, it will make the uh, picture smaller, or if you go on the inside, it will make it bigger. So, uh, yeah, you can you can mess with that. So, say you wanted to put it at the top right, like I would do if I was doing like a, a video of me while making a video, like to see a face cam. I usually do this. Or if you want to just put it back, you know, you just, you know, do that or whatever. All right. Um, so, there's that. Now, all right. So, this is a pretty hard concept to understand. Let me just delete this. This is called keyframing, all right? Keyframing with Sony Vegas is pretty legit. I'm not going to lie. Um, usually, I would lie, but in this scenario, you know, I I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, keyframing is like, so if you want to zoom in on something during a time or whatever, what you do is you right-click your video and go to Media FX, all right? Actually, don't do that because I was testing you guys to see if you were paying attention. All you got to do is go to the cropping thing again. And you got this, you know, you can zoom in and out, you know, like I just showed you. However, you see this little bar on the bottom? This is where the magic happens. Like, I'm talking crazy magic. Like, I can't even express it into words. How much magic... Vegas Pro really has. It looks like a simple program, but it, it's really got some cool stuff to it. All right, so let me cut to the chase. Say I wanted to, I don't know, at two seconds of the video, so like here, two seconds in, I wanted to zoom up into a part. What I do is I double click here, and that right there adds a little key, a key into the video. And say during that time frame, I want to zoom up and show this part. That's what it's going to do. And say I want to keyframe to this part. Sorry, I right-clicked. On this part, I want it to uh, zoom right back out. Okay. So, that's how you do it, really. You just click where you want to go, and you adjust it. So, if I was to go back to the video, I could play it's a it. It's cake, and I'm here to make a really quick zooms tutorial up. on how to make an auto-respond on... And Palmetto. it zooms out. It's pretty magical, really. I mean, that's, that's how I do a lot of things. If you want to zoom up on a word, you know, whatever. If you, you know, you could you could play around with that. Add as many keyframes as you want for each keyframe. You can click it and and adjust it and all that all that goodness. But I I'm going to delete these cuz I don't need them. Okay. So, a, a cool thing with Vegas Pro is that you can add a lot of cool effects. However, go t in in order to do it, you got to go to YouTube and type in Sony Vegas plugins free and go to like I don't know I'll put this guy's uh, link in the description because he's a legit guy he's he sends a lot of uh, cool effects packs that you can add so you you probably have some already built in but you want to right click your video and go up to media effects or video e event effects it's either one or the other. It's usually media effects, but if it's not, it's the other one. So I have all these pre-downloaded effects, and they all do something different. And they pretty much say what they do. And they're pretty legit. Let me show you uh, a random one. Um, if I was to do, I don't know, binocular effect, I would add that. And it would add like a cool... I don't know, a binocular effect. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it, it would add like that cool effect in, in the video. It's cool when you're making a video or whatever. All right, control Z will undo that. So yeah, right click, go to media effects or video uh, event effects. I don't really know the differences between these because they pretty much do the same thing. Sometimes it doesn't work in media effects, so I just go to video. But um, say I wanted to do action shake extreme. What What's it going to do? What it's gonna do? Auto is it, it's gonna on make it combat arms. extremely vibrate. However, you guys can't see it, so you can go to draft and go to quarter, and you could make a really quick tutorial see. on how to make an auto response. It looks legit, you know, if you're making a montage or something cool. All right. Um, if you wanna add another video, I mean, uh, an audio track, you right-click that and go to insert audio track. And it'll insert another audio track. So if I wanted to add some music, I can go drag some music or go to a file. Drag the music and look at that. It shows up. I can put this music right there. It will build it and yeah. So let's check to see what this sounds like. 
Hey guys, it's Lil Nami Cake, and I'm here to make a really quick tutorial on how to make an auto respond. Okay, I bet you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, the audio, the, the music is so loud, I can't even hear myself. <laughs> my mom's gonna hate. No, no, um, you can, you can adjust it. You see this little blue thing? This little blue thing is like magic. You can click that and drag it any, if you want it low, if you want it loud, you know, usually I would put it to like here. So like it would have like a nice background. It's a little nubby cake, and I'm here so to you can, really you can quick barely hear. on how to make an auto respond on. Com See, I mean that that's pretty dope. That's pretty sick. So that's how you add music. You know, make it louder, make it quieter. If you want your voice to be quieter, you know, you could do this. So it's like. I'm gonna make a really quick tutorial on how to make it. It's a quiet. You know, it, you, you can play with it. Um. I'm thinking. Uh, what else could I do? Okay. Uh, if you go to Google. And like download pictures that have like the the background that's like checkers or whatever. You can put it over and like it will, uh, it will put it onto the picture and like you can blah blah blah. Put that there. Put it anywhere you want. And okay, this is a big thing. You see how this stops on the bottom? Like it cancels it out. You're like, what the heck? Like why? It doesn't even make sense. I know. I don't understand it. You can go to properties, maintain aspect ratio, and do that. I mean, sometimes the whole maintain aspect ratio ruins it because it will make it fit the screen, which will also, you know, make it fatter or thinner or wider or whatever. But yeah, you can fix that. And now you can put it anywhere on the screen and it will be happy. Say I want to place it here or something. Or okay, let me show you this with the uh the 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 moving of the stuff. So, let's say I want to start it here in the beginning of this video and by here I wanted to end uh I wanted to end it here at the bottom at the bottom okay, at the bottom like that. So, say I wanted to do that. I just do that with the uh clicky thingy and I move it and uh yeah. I could play the video. And I'm here to make a really quick tutorial on how to make and it, it will move. If I go to drafts, like I've said previously, it will make it less laggy. I'm here to make a really quick tutorial on how to make. So that's how you make things move. It's like magic. It, it's like I keep saying magic because it is. All right. So um, okay. Let me think. What else? What else? Um, could there be? That's pretty much how you make a video in basics. Scroll all the way out, you know, you can... Okay, if you want to make it shorter, all right, I, all right my video is only like seven seconds, and this goes on for three minutes. I, I don't want that. Like, people are going to get... Like, what? No. You, you go to this side, and you see this little square thing, this little trim event thing. You click that, and you drag it. Now, you can also do that in the beginning. Like, say there's like a favorite part of the song. Let me think. Okay, that's pretty legit. So I, I could drag the beginning, and it will drag that in the beginning automatically. And I can drag this to the end. So when you watch the video, hey guys, it's a little nubby cake, and I'm here to make it. And it's pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's, it's pretty loud, so I can make it quieter. A really quick tutorial on how to make an auto respond. On and now, yeah, this is gonna be laggy. You know, put it to draft. But it, it might still be laggy, depending on how many effects you have. And like I said, if you want effects, you just right-click it, go to Media Effects, and download all these. Like I said, the dude that I got all these from, he, he has a YouTube channel. It's pretty sick. He uh, shows you how to download these and how to add them. But yeah, you just click on it, LSD tripping, bruh. Like, it, it's going to be dope. All right, that doesn't do anything. So I can undo that. Oh, wait, it did do some. It just took a while. Let me undo that. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, I want to see what this looks like. I'm just really... LSD Trippin's pretty legit. Uh, I'm here to make a really quick what it does is it makes like every color different. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But let me undo that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. That's um. It's a basic tutorial. I mean, I might make more tutorials in the future because like, you know, there's more to it. But this is the basics. Like I said, it's the basics. So, if, if you watched this video and followed it, you can pretty much make any video that we've made. Like, it's not, it's not a complicated concept. It's just practice. I've been doing this for a while. Um, not too long, but long enough that I, I can do this stuff and feel really comfortable and make whatever I want. So, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I'll probably eventually make a follow-up video if you guys have questions on how to uh, do other stuff. 
and I'll make a more intermediate tutorial. So, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And later.